So I am gonna do a mini grocery haul for you. I thought I would show you what I got today at the store because I'm really trying to mess with my diet as far as just finding things that don't make my stomach hurt. And I think I'm getting there. Let's get to it. Um, I'm gonna start with fruit, bananas. I have watermelon. I have some honey crisp apples. Fruit usually doesn't bother my stomach at all whatsoever. So I have a lot of freedom when it comes to fruit. Vegetables, I tend to become really bloated with, um, with vegetables. Okay, so moving on, I just got this Daya deliciously dairy-free mozzarella style um, shredded cheese. I've heard that this one's really good. I love cheese on my eggs. I love cheese on literally anything, spaghetti, all of it. And I've just noticed that cheese anything dairy really seems to upset my stomach so i like i said i heard that this one was good i'm gonna try it it's plant-based and then i also got this diet uh deliciously dairy free strawberry cream cheese i usually i gotta find them we'll put cream cheese on um these organic whole grain brown rice rice cakes um, I'll usually do cream cheese on this. Sometimes I'll do just like your plain cream cheese with everything seasoning on it, but I wanted something sweet. I have still have a really big sweet tooth. So I thought that this dairy free cream cheese would be good on those. And then I got these, obviously I, um, rice cakes are always like a go-to of mine for any grocery haul. Next, I got some crunchy kale. I really love kale. I love kale chips. I wanted to try this. Um, it's rich in iron, calcium, vitamins A and C. And if I'm not eating red meat ever again, it's probably good to have something like this in my diet. However, I just need to be careful when it comes to how much I'm actually eating of this because I am on blood thinners and it will affect it. But, um, I still want to at least try some of that and incorporate it into my diet. I got cage free, 100% liquid egg whites. I'm trying to do more egg whites than I am regular eggs. Um, it's just to watch my fat intake. I've noticed that my fat, fat intake is relatively high. So anything I can do in order to make it on the lower side, I'm going to try and do. And then I got these La Banderita carb counter um flour tortillas i honestly thought i had gotten the gluten-free ones but when i was at the register i saw that they weren't the gluten-free ones so i just left it i didn't go exchange it i'm just gonna use these and get rid of them they're 35 calories for one tortilla one fat 10 carb three grams of protein they're considered their snack size i love tortillas I love making little tacos, little breakfast tacos. My son loves tortillas. We love tortillas. We are a tortilla family. So the next is mochi cashew cream frozen dessert. I love mochi. I, again, wanted something sweet to eat. Um, per mochi is 100 calories, but it is plant-based and non-dairy. Ice cream always upsets my stomach. I'm really hoping that I get to enjoy these without having my stomach hurt. Next, I grabbed some yogurt. One is the Siggy's um, plant-based coconut blend. I love the Siggy's yogurt. It has a great protein content in it. This one has 10 grams, so not as high as their other ones, but yogurt does tend to upset my stomach sometimes too. I can get away with like Greek yogurt. That usually doesn't, but I really want to get, I want to, I really want to switch to like dairy-free stuff. Um, so this one is the Kite Hill Vanilla Almond Milk Yogurt Dairy Free. I like almond milk. I don't love almond milk, so hopefully it's not bitter. Sometimes I find that almond, almond milk tastes really bitter compared to the oat milk that I usually drink. But I've heard the Kite Hill brand is really good and the Siggy's is bomb. I love it so much. This one's vanilla and cinnamon. That would be good in the morning or just like put a dollop on your oats. Anyways, I'm looking forward to trying both of these. Next, I got a couple different kinds of quinoa. This is a brown rice and quinoa garlic flavored mix. And then I got the Urbane Grain Quinoa, which I've had before. This is the black pepper and sea salt. I love both of these. 
Rice and quinoa are really the only things that tend to not upset my stomach. Then I did grab some turkey bacon. This is the Applegate Naturals Uncured Turkey Bacon. I don't eat bacon a lot, honestly. I try to avoid it as much as possible because of the sodium content. I have to keep my sodium content low. Um, but I do like it from time to time. Sometimes I will make like a BLT sandwich and those are like one of my favorite sandwiches. So I just got some turkey bacon for that. And this is the best turkey bacon I've ever had. I've tried so many different brands and I always come back to this one. It's the Applegate Naturals Uncured Turkey Bacon. It's really good. I found it at King Supers, Natural Grocers. I'm pretty sure Walmart has it too. Um, but yeah, this one's the best. And then the next thing that I got is a 20 gram plant-based protein, which is the Ozo. It's um, the plant-based Mex Mexican seasoned ground beef. Beef. Um, this is my favorite. I love it. It tastes so good. I could honestly probably eat this entire pack if I allowed myself to. It just has the best flavor. Ground beef or any beef uh, for me lately has just um, honestly made me sick to my stomach just from the smell, so I'm avoiding it. Plus it messes up with my stomach, of course. So this though, this is the best thing I've ever had. And then tonight we're making spaghetti. So, oh no, where are my noodles? Oh, here they are. So as far as noodles for tonight, I usually do zoodles, but I wanted to try these um, chickpea pastas. It, honest, it only has chickpea flour in it. That's the one and only ingredient. Total is 35 grams of carbs, 12 grams of protein, which is another reason why I wanted to try it. The protein in any, in any chickpea pasta noodle is relatively high and the fat is low. This only has three grams for two ounces. Um, I love the taste of chickpeas too. So I think I'll really enjoy this. Like I said, we're having spaghetti tonight. So I wanted to try something other than zoodles. So this is my go-to. And then we put black olives, mushrooms, and spinach in the spaghetti sauce that we use and the spaghetti sauce that we use, which I'm pretty sure we have one, but now that I'm thinking, we might not. Ah! Just my luck. No freaking way. I literally feel like I just saw it. We don't have spaghetti sauce like I thought we did, but we use the Roa's brand. I will um, throw a picture up on the screen for you of what we get. And that is by far one of the best, if not the best spaghetti sauce that I've ever had. Minimal ingredients, low on the sugar. Spaghetti sauce tends to have a lot of sugar in it and I just try to avoid that. So next I got is the Lily's Extremely dark chocolate, 85% cacao, stevia sweetened, vegan, dark and rich. I cannot wait to try this. I've heard nothing but good things about Lily's chocolate. I love dark chocolate. Like, give me the most bitter piece of dark chocolate and I love it, which is crazy because, I mean, I love all chocolate though, but dark chocolate is by, by far my favorite. Next is a Nourish Bowl. I got a couple of these. Last time I got these, I really liked them. They kind of smelled a little funky, but they tasted awesome. This one has cauliflower, kale, coal, Robby sweet potatoes, black bean with chipotle, corn salsa, and shredded cheddar cheese. I realize that the cheddar cheese is not vegan or dairy free. However, it does come in a little packet so I can skip that and put the mozzarella on that um, I bought. But these are just really good, super quick. The carb on it is relatively high, it's at 34 grams. But uh, my plan is to throw some of these veggie chicken strips on it. These are probably some of my favorite veggie chicken strips. They are the Morning Star um, veggie chicken strips. There's 23 grams of protein in the serving of chicken strips. So this is my plan is to throw these together. These are just really good even without chicken in it, but I just wanted to up the protein on this guy. So it's going to go from 23 grams to 
34 grams and we love we love the protein okay this is kind of a really like big haul i didn't realize that i got a lot of stuff for myself when i went to the grocery store and i know i'm the only one that's going to be eating it because my no my family just won't so this is a plant-based chicken patty i've never had these before but i love i really do like chicken however it does tend to upset my stomach and i don't know if necessarily if it's because of how it will you know how it's cooked when i eat it um but like even if i get a uh chicken from the oh my gosh like a whole chicken from like walmart from like i want to say their bakery there's deli section geez um it upsets my stomach after i eat it and i just don't know why i don't know if it's the oil i don't know if it's how they cook it i just don't know if it's the chicken itself but it's happened before even with having chicken from other places so it might just be chicken and so i'm gonna um try this chicken uh, plant-based chicken patties with my new seasoning. This is the vegan chicken less Trader Joe's seasoning salt. So I thought that this would go really well together. Give me that chicken flavor with the chicken plant-based chicken patty. Um, Emerge is a really great option for plant-based items. So I, I, positive i'll probably like this and then i got the beyond meat beyond sausage this these are plant-based links this is a brat i love brats for the longest time i hated them and then i finally started eating them again but the fat and the pork and whatever they're made out of even if i do a beef brat my stomach hurts so i'm hoping this is what i need in order to enjoy a nice brat so this is going to be going down i bought some red potatoes too to go with the beyond sausage for a meal i love red potatoes they are my favorite next is the cc's veggie co buffalo collie made with organic cauliflower this is gluten and dairy free it's a low carb item i love buffalo wings so this is a great alternative i love buffalo sauce like i just love it and i love cauliflower Took me a lot of years to eat cauliflower because one of my teachers in middle school told me that a certain a certain std looks like cauliflower and it like i hate i was like what the fuck and couldn't eat it for years but now i do so i gotta take my cookies out i just baked some sweet lorenz cookies which i got more of because we we're having a family dinner on sunday and i offered to bring desserts and I keep telling my dad and my stepmom about these and they wanted to try them so I bought the fudgy brownie cookie door cookie dough sweet Lorraine's cookie for Sunday they are gluten-free dairy-free plant-based peanut and tree nut free honestly cookies tend to upset my stomach and these do not the sugar-free ones I've never tried before, but my kids love sugar cookies and we have extra fr frosting in the cabinet. So I figured they could decorate them if they wanted to. Um, but the, ca uh, the calories on these, yes, one cookie is 110 calories, but it really does feel guilt-free. My husband also really likes these too. He's, he loves his cookies. And so it's nice that we found something that we can all enjoy together. The bread that I usually buy is a Dave Killer's bread. For a long time, I would buy the Sarah Lee whole wheat 45 calorie calorie bread and honestly it just like was so blah after a while so i wanted to switch back to dave's killer bread this bread is so good it's thin sliced 70 calories for one slice i wish they if they have a gluten-free bread from dave's killer bread let me know i've looked a few places for it but i haven't seen anything but maybe the places here just don't have it um so if they do have a gluten-free one let me know guys i would love to I would love to buy that one instead because I imagine it's probably just as good as this bread is but this bread doesn't really hurt my stomach so that's why I know I can have it the Sarah Lee didn't really either I just got bored with it it just it was so bland next I got is the original oatly milk I switched from almond milk to oatly milk because almond just almond milk just started tasting really gross to me and I love oat milk I love it it is so good it's so it tastes rich it's 
super guilt free for me. I mean, I just, I love it so much. I don't really drink it by the glass. I will put it in my oats. I will put it in coffee or tea. Next, I got strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries. I didn't get any of the fruit or organic just because I'm fine with not having organic fruit, but I love berries on my yogurt. I love berries on my oatmeal. I could just eat a bowl of berries. All of the fruit and veg like fresh vegetables that we buy tend to be gone by the end of the week when we get them. Like those are one of the things that I have to stock up on constantly besides like bread and milk. So I actually don't mind that either. Um, it makes me really happy because I know they're just like not eating a bunch of junk. Moving on, I got this probiotics to support immune health, Cocopina Sunset. It has coconut water, organic pineapple juice, and blue spur spirulina. Kind of looked good. I wanted to try it. It looks like juice. So we'll see. And then I just got a um, another juice. It's the cold pressed juice blend, citrus greens, cucumber, pineapple, spinach, romaine, orange, apple, kale, mango, ginger, and lemon. This is a plant-based hydration. I love these little green juices. I tend to drink like half in the morning, half at night, or split it between a couple days. These are great. And then I guess I'm on my, oh no, second to last thing. I got a bunch of avocados because I love avocados. Why not? And then the last thing I got were Quaker oats because I could eat oats morning, noon, and night. Those never get old, but that's it guys i just wanted to show you my quick grocery haul so hopefully you enjoyed it and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one